Hello and welcome back to Galgon Double Peace. Now, the last time I've I have discovered an extremely shocking thing. Throughout the first run of this game, I have completely neglected one aspect, and that is the what's it called again? Let me check. I remember it's under options, uh, buttons. Ah oh, yes. I'm just gonna name it the heart pounding mode because that's what it kind of translates to in English. You know the one at the end of the first season where we get to touch uh, Shinobu in a lot of naughty places? Yes, apparently you can do that with all the other girls. And we have not been doing that. That is the traversity. We shall now go forth and do so. I have no idea what it does other than allow you to hear the passionate joys of girls. I'll show you later. Other than that, it also kind of adjusts your stats in a way, I'm not sure how it works. I must be doing something right or wrong, because all my other stats are improving except the one that makes me a pervert. And that is the traversity, because we are the arrow margin. Or should I say, the pervert of all perverts. I mean, come on, why would you ever pass up the opportunity to touch young girls, right? You know, there's some things in your life that you have to do. Or should I say, there are some things in life that a man's gotta do before he grows old and he is unable to do so. Well, actually he is able to do so, but um, it's not like, you know, he can actually do that like, uh, it's not like he can actually do it in like a legal way or something like that. And I cannot skip this. Come on! Well, I guess you can't skip this because we haven't been through this before. However, with the magic of editing, I shall skip it. Ha, ha, ha. But I guess I should at least summarize the story. In short, our Cupid is concerned that we have no one in mind for our dear beloved one. However, we keep our minds open, and our hearts as wide as a Siberian plain. And sooner or later, we will find the one. And of course, the little devil comes in to, like, you know, spice things up. And mine controls a few of our classmates with a poke of a spear. But that has happened in the previous run through, so there's nothing really new. Alright, here we go. Oh, let me shoot this already. And now I shoot her. Oh my god, she's a shooting dribble. Um, where's that thing? Oh, there it is. I'm slightly concerned that, uh... Alright, we are safe. Oh, I see you! And I see you too. I know there's one next to me. Okay, uh... This is a stairwell of death. I mean, I say death, but we, we, are, we are doing pretty well here. Despite being this on hard mode. Is there anything here? No? I think I've cleared it already. Oh yeah, speaking of which, now should be a good time to show off the um, hard pounding mode, I guess. However, there is only one girl on screen, so... So, uh, I guess it's not this suitable. Because, you know... Oh my god, you are durable. Anyway, like I said... Anyway, like I said, when touching girls, it is, it is best to have as many as, as possible on screen at the same time. What the hell? Only got one? Oh well. And now we are... No, not here. Oh. We shall now chase the big hearts. And... Now you see, I only managed to get one girl. Imagine what happened if I have managed to get like multiple of them. Oh my god, it's like it's like a huge bomb has gone off. I gotta say, I mean shooting you repeatedly is still is still the most satisfying. No! I, I almost got two. Oh well. Oh, don't be scared. We will touch you sensually. 
Now, where are those big hearts of yours? No? I mean... I mean, this is like... Oh, yeah. No, the blue hearts are no good. And another victim has died in our arms tonight. And she literally explodes. Oh, not literally, but um, figuratively explodes. And clears out everybody. I don't know, I kind of have mixed feelings about this game mode. Or should I say this feature? Because sometimes you just want to get down and dirty. I mean, you just want to give each and every single girl your undivided attention. And having this huge like AOE effect with, I must note, almost no repercussions. Or should I say, almost no penalty. It's... I don't know, I kind of have a mixed feeling about that. What? Nothing? Zero? Really? Come on, I'm trying to work towards hitting on the Cupid. Don't let me down, man. Come on, think about it. What must I do in order to hit on the Angel? Hmm... I don't know, man. Uh... I guess I'll find out. Let's see, uh... Last time we did the, um... Canteen. So now I guess we should at least do something else. Like the classroom. Because the classroom is the one place where you can find lots of young girls who are hankering after your self. I was about to say something extremely inappropriate, but uh, I think I better keep this commentary. Um, I'll keep the conversation teen related. Yeah. Alright, round two. Uh, no, let's shoot them all. Yeah, jump for joy. Oh, there's something there. There is something there. No, not you. Oh my god. Hey, wait, what was that? I saw it. No! Wait, did I just see that pink thing jumping up and down? I swear. Headshot. I'm, I'm sure I saw a pink thing somewhere here. Oh, wait, what's this? No! Oh, good. We have successfully gotten the mission item. Now to invade the classroom. Oh man, I mean, these girls are like really falling over each other in order to... In order to assault us. And that was a lucky shot. I didn't expect to hit the devil, the little devil on the shoulder and on the first hit. And, and I'm pretty aware I should start using the... Oh, what's that? Don't hide from me. And yeah, I, I, like I was saying, I was, I'm pretty aware that I should be using the... Oh, nice underwear. Damn it! I'm getting distracted. But yeah, uh, like, I said, like I'm trying to say for a hundred times, I should be using the... The the heart pounding mode, you know, to touch all the girls. Right, perfect. No! I missed the middle. But it's okay, we have double action. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the one in sports uniform is full of love for us. We shall touch them more. Ah, nothing like making multiple girls um, feel great after a long hard day in school. Yes, after a long hard day in school, not nothing beats. Wait, what's that? Why are you hiding it? Come on! I'm afraid I'm, afraid I'm being hit by something. Uh, 
this is the teacher. But yeah, like I was saying, nothing, nothing beats like you know, relax, making girls relax after a long day of school. And what the hell? That's one poster. What's this? I. Oh my. That that honestly gave me a shock. I'm seeing these twins everywhere. Come on, turn around. No, I I want to hit the I want to hit the little ghost girl behind. Ouch. But instead we're hit by a but instead we're hit by a love letter. I want to be the one doing the hitting. Um. No, I I see your underwear, but. Uh, we we have been defeated by somebody stepping in our groin, and she is continuing to step on our groin even after we are down. We will not let this continue. Come on. Alright. Oh man. That was an ordeal. I mean, I know it's really obvious, but you know, it's never a nice feeling having a groin stepped on. Unless, of course, the right amount of force is used, which in that case, it's, um, I would say, um, fairly stimulating in certain ways. But you know something, regardless of the amount of force used, being stepped on in the groin isn't really that, uh, isn't really the kind of thing that you want to experience because, um, one wrong move and, oops, there goes your treasure. But anyway, this scenario ends with what has actually happened in the previous run through, which is, um, us offering our help to our two childhood friends in hunting down the little demon. And being fed up with you. Eh, they're lost. They do not know that we have a powerful China cannon at our disposal, and we are not afraid to use it. For more details, we shall see you in the next episode. If you have enjoyed this one, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time!